Hey, 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 what's up, world? It's your boy, G-Shrimp, everybody's favorite baby daddy, the voice of the street, man. And today, we gonna be in <whistles> boop, Chicago and Houston, y'all. So, you know we got to go back down here since ain't nothing else going on out here. We got to go back down here and check on, goddamn it, uh, these guys from Capital Lock Records, man, you know. Jay Fulio, goddamn it, he mad, y'all. Now, Lord, these is two fools that don't need to see. Guess who is into it now, right? Well, y'all been seeing Charleston, right? Let me say something about Charleston, right, y'all? And if y'all will listen to me, y'all will understand him more, and he wouldn't even bother y'all. Charleston White is what you call a shock jock, y'all. You hear me? I'm going to say it again. He is a shock jock. And if you don't know what that is, that is somebody that say shit to shock you. You feel me? Go always say, I don't care when he coming on. Okay, everybody can do that stupid shit and do it like that. Hey, man, I, I can say, hey, man, fuck Barack. I want Michelle to. You know, I ain't going to say that because that would be disrespectful and they like to shut the goddamn channel down. You can't talk about the president like that ex-president, you know, and it would be just disrespectful. But I'm just saying, you know when you say certain things when you know went too far. You you know when you know went too far. And then, you know, Charleston, everybody got their opinion. I didn't say a little shit about Jay Prince too, but I ain't saying kill him and all this and I don't want him to go to jail. I just think he needs to stop talking so much and uh, step out the way. Enjoy your money. and It is what it is. Y'all Kicking up more dust than y'all even got. All these interviews and shit is only making everybody look at you more. Why do you want that type of attention anyway? The boy's still dead. But you out here just living your life like a uh, fuck it. Because you told us all oh, this clown came down here and made a move and got dealt with and pop woo woo woo. That's supposed to make it all right. See, the problem was you had them boys in an unsafe environment in the first place, y'all. You hear me? I'm going to say it again. The problem was he had them boys in an unsafe environment in the first place. Two, three in the morning, y'all had a goddamn bowling alley shooting dice and what, what, what the fuck we doing? Y'all really need to be in a bowling alley shooting dice when your daddy on the island? You got condos. You don't have nowhere safe y'all can kick it. Where y'all wouldn't have to have no straps and everything. And then if a nigga ain't got more money than you, you shouldn't be rubbing shoulders with him. It shouldn't have been no broke niggas even around. So nobody would have had no attitude because everybody would be rich. And if it's 10 niggas in there, it should have been 10 women in there. So everybody would have been okay. But hey, they move how they move. It's daytime. Nah. Charleston sent him this what happened. Jay Prince uh sent Charleston right a message to say, Hey man, I wanna have a sit down with you, man. I, I wanna talk to you. You got so much to say. He finna threaten him now, y'all. I know what he gonna do. You got so much to say about mob ties, you know. <laughs> y'all hear my accent. You got so much to say. See what's going on, y'all, is this nigga Charleston White got diarrhea at the mouth. And every time he talk, shit just runs out. <laughs> Woo! That's why the tape was last day, y'all. I guess that's his line, man. He got diarrhea at the mouth, you know. Or, or this the other one here. See, this motherfucker offset. He suffered for being a fake motherfucking nigga disease. <laughs> Lord have mercy, hit that motherfucker like button and subscribe to the channel right now. Because I'm not going to finish this drill until somebody fucking subscribe. And hit the like. Now I got all day, y'all. I ain't got shit to do. Okay, thank you. But dig this hit, yeah. That's. These two people don't even need to be in each other's way. Charles, you can go fuck up and talk shit on this side of the town. And Jay Prince, you can go fuck up and talk shit on that side of the town. 
Just leave the world alone. Let everybody uh talk their little shit if they want to. Everybody talking shit in the safe place, y'all. And I mean that. I'm going to say that again. A nigga talk a lot of shit in the safe place. How? Because I know it. This motherfucker safe. How much motherfucker will? I wish a motherfucker would. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where him at? Right there. At arm reach. Y'all think I be just jumping up to get the door when y'all see me when I get up? It ain't just to stop a nigga from talking. I might tell you that. But I hear my motherfucking flow creaking. I need to see who it is because I can't let, listen, y'all. We not jump up. I can't let no nigga, if it's, let's say a nigga trying to creep in here on me. I can't let him get to the door and open it down. I'm sitting duck. He gonna fire me up. But if I get up and meet that motherfucker when I see him, y'all hear it. Don't worry. Hope it never happens, but y'all will hear it. Y'all be like, oh, he was on point. Shit. If he wouldn't have got up, nigga, the came and did what you want to do. Now, look. Now, there's another guy, y'all, from Chicago. His name spins up. And it goes with the story I was trying to tell, too, because we're talking about ass whoopings, right? Spinzo is a rapper, y'all, from Chicago. And um, these guys get used to talking shit, like I said, in a safe place. They get used to talking shit. They threatening people and everything. But I'm going to tell you, real bad boys move in silent. And some niggas is not playing. You hear me? I'm going to say that again. Some niggas is not playing. Which is why I don't be playing on this motherfucker. I don't be fucking with Chicago uh, artists and Chicago beefs and shit. Because the city already hot, bro. We already got enough killing going on. I don't need to add to the fire by starting some shit. Because when the war go on, uh, my soldiers go have to fight that war. I mean, if I want to get out there and slang some mine or whatever, yeah, I can do that. But if I get into beef... For something I said on this motherfucker, y'all, it ain't no problem. I got many soldiers, and they go out to fight that war. So, I could feel some type of way like, damn, I got this nigga in, in the whole war because I was on here talking shit and said something about somebody and they didn't like it. And, you know, niggas know where I'm at in the city, man. I know what scripts they heat over here. You know, and before you know it, it's going on. But this nigga here, Spenzo, that's what he did, y'all. He was talking about somebody. I ain't even gonna say the rapper's name, but whoever the guy was, the nigga whooping his ass said, uh, <laughs> he said that was his son. Let me see. Uh, I might pull up. That was his son. But the nigga got online and he was talking shit, right? No, this Charleston White part here. You know. And the nigga was talking shit online to somebody, right? And the person who, who was online, who he was talking to, they synced it, and they got on his ass, y'all. They pulled up on the nigga, jumped out, that motherfucker strap, bitch, you better not move. He like, oh, get your ass in the car. Get your pussy ass in the car. Get the fuck in there. Obvious, this nigga ain't worth the price of the bullet, y'all. <laughs> I think I said that to somebody one day. Nigga, you ain't worth the price of the bullet. You know what I mean? I don't even want to shoot you, nigga. Let's say a bullet's cost seven ninety nine. Your motherfucking ass ain't worth seven ninety nine. You son of a bitch. You lucky. You lucky, boy. If you ever become worth the price of the bullet, I'ma pop your pussy ass just to show us my name. Gee, motherfuckers, God God damn it. And I mean it. I am not playing. You know. And uh, obviously, this nigga, he played with the wrong person, y'all. They pull up on his ass and got him for real, for real, y'all. And uh, I guess they didn't want to whack him. They didn't want to whack him. Yeah, here it is right here. I'm going to show y'all some of this. They didn't want to whack the nigga. Because he probably, like, the dude made him apologize and everything. You know? I'll wait till this come up. But, I mean... It's, I won't say it's a good thing. I won't say it's a good thing. You know, I'm gonna let him finish this. I can show y'all some of this under the fair use act. You know, I can use a little bit of this. But give it a second. I'm trying to catch the right part. But yeah, sometimes people just be talking too damn much though. And then you know, sometimes when a nigga say something about you, it depends on the level he on. 
and he see something, he said, I, I know this nigga ain't talking about me. You had Jay Z responded when he Nas Nas responded when Jay Z said something. He said, I know you ain't talking about me, dog. You big clip motherfucker. Nas said, nigga, you love my style, nigga. You keep my song in your music. Uh -huh. Let me show you this in one minute, All right? But yeah. Bottom line is, kids, if you ain't in the streets, stay out the street. They make sidewalks for that. Everybody don't have to be in the streets, y'all. You feel me? I'm going to say that again. Everybody don't have to be in the street. That's why they make sidewalks, y'all. Walk on the sidewalk. You still go get wherever you're going, bro. You don't need to uh, put yourself in harm's way. For what? Might save your life, man. Check this out, guys. It's just a little bit of what, dude. Uh, you can tell my son you saw me. Sorry, man. Tell my son you saw me. Sorry, I love you. Say I'm sorry, I love you, Trish. Say I'm sorry. I love you, Trish. Hey, mama. Fuck you, son. Fuck you. Now that was a good ass. Nah. You know a lot of people might say. Nah, see. They just poof, 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 poof. but they they didn't show all of it. We can't show all, all of it. Cause they they look, y'all see lumps got them in uh and y'all ain't see but a punch punch. They had put it on his ass already. He had knots right here, right here, his mouth was bleeding. And no, they probably hit him with the pistols because when they jumped out on him, y'all, they had two pistols pointed at him. Two niggas. Put that bitch in the back and got down on him. Got down on him. But it's a good thing they didn't kill the guy, y'all. That's a good thing. The nigga probably wasn't even worth killing. Like I said, he ain't worth the price of the bullet. That's probably how they said it. You know, they probably like, Man, I know this puss ass nigga down. I know that ain't nigga down. They're talking crazy. Nigga might be fucking his baby. Hey, babe, I know your puss ass baby daddy ain't just saying nothing about me. She be like, what? That pussy muck man. Where your baby daddy at? He be at this other girl house. Yeah, I'm finna pull up over there. And wherever they tracked him down there, they got him, took him, beat his ass in the car, and dropped him back off. So, uh, thank God he ain't dead. And uh, congratulations for somebody giving a nigga a good ass whooping. Woohoo! I told you I was gonna put my foot up a nigga ass. Somebody that beat me to the punch, goddammit. They done beat me to the punch, right? So, now we finna go over here, y'all, to boys. Nope, that ain't Boys Town, y'all. It's called Killer Wood. Killer Wood is a spot over here on 79. It's all folks over there. All folks. So, you know, I got a partner named KC, y'all. I told you, my solid buddy. Calling for the foes in the island, right? KC. When we was in high school and we was coming up, goddammit, we used to get into it and little shit like this. All a nigga want to do is show you got some heart. You know? Show you got some heart. We were fighting then, y'all, before the pistols come out. I remember me and him, and there was five of us, y'all, and folks ran up on us about 10 deep. So I'm like, what y'all doing? Y'all be running no fret fight. Hell no, we ain't finna run. We stood there and got it in, y'all, with 10 niggas. You hear me? We stood our ground with 10 niggas. They beat the shit out of us, y'all. You hear me? When we got home, oh, uh, 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 they said, you all right? Yeah. I think he stuck me in my back. Uh, uh, damn. Uh, what? My earring missing, man. You remember I had two earrings? Oh, man. Uh, I think I got my phone too long. My pager. Where my pager at? Damn. Uh, Ugh. We fucked up, y'all. That's what Casey doing. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Boy, I'm like, fuck you so happy for a nigga. We got our ass whooped. He like, man, but we didn't run. I said, we should have, motherfucker. Fuck you up with your hands up, man. My, I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> what the fuck you got your hands up for, motherfucker? Talking about. Standing on our ground. We should have ran like some pussies. That's what we should have been. They don't give out no trophies for being a real motherfucker, y'all. You hear me? I'm going to say it again. They don't give out trophies for being a real motherfucker. So we could have ran. It wouldn't have made a difference. We wouldn't go get a trophy no motherfucking way. So who cares if we ran? 
or stood our ground. Nobody but us. Would it make for a good story? <laughs> us. Yeah, we got our ass kicked. It ain't the first time we was fighting. We used to always get some shit. But niggas started getting our reputation. They like, hey, them motherfuckers over there, shit, them niggas bout it, boy. They gonna come through here and get it in. When I was in high school, I knew a chick stayed over there. And they used to invite us to parties. And this chick liked it. Me and her was fucking around. And she said, Trump, you coming to the party over there? I'm like, no, nah, we might. But she's she like, man, I don't think y'all should come. She said, but you can if you want to, but don't come. Shrimp. I'm like, why? What's up? No, nah, we going to come. She said, because you know they go try to get on y'all, Shrimp. Come on, you already know that. And uh, I don't want you to get jumped on. I'm like, all right, well, I might slide through for a minute. She's like, Shh, yeah, all right. The niggas I'm running with, they some stone cold goddamn fools. They don't give a fuck. I mean, we going. <laughs> this idea is we going. It's all folks, but we going. And uh, we ain't going quietly, y'all. Like, <laughs> we ain't going to uh, Cognito. <laughs> this us. We in the party. All gangsters, y'all. Nigga, what's up? Nigga, <laughs> I fuck what I do goddamn well. That hook ain't just saluting this bitch. Yes, they did. What's up, joke? They, ooh, these motherfucker hooks is born right here. Man, boy, listen. The fight started and it was up. Five once again, y'all. We get it in, y'all. We tore that motherfucking house up. I'm a little nigga at the time now, y'all. I ain't had no size like this. I just got like this. I used to be a little skinny nigga. God damn it. We fighting for you know what? I got throw out the fucking window, y'all. No lie. Throw out the window. I'm rolling around like a stunt dummy. God damn it. I get up. Oh, they still in there. Guess what I do? My smart ass. I run off the porch, run to the back door that we came in, knock on the door. Do, 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 do. They, yeah, open the door. I rush back in there. They, they fight my man. I'm still in there. They getting their ass whooped, but they trying to try to hang in there. Here I come. Never oh, turn around. God damn it. Can't we just throw this thing out the window? Yeah, get the fuck. Get him out of here. They got me again. I was able to grab one nigga. I'm the poor my guy, come on. Boom, boom. Now it's two of us, we out the window. I'm like, get up, come on, we got to go back in there. We got to go back in there. We run back. Same shit. Folks them enjoying the fight in the front so much, the niggas on the back door, <laughs> they ain't paying attention that they letting us in this motherfucker because they study looking. Get the door. <laughs> they looking at the fight. Get the door. They have no idea it's us again. Nigga open the door. Ooh, ow. We come in there, it's up again. I'm able to get back to the guys and we find this shit. Get ready to go out there. I said, I know the way out. This way out the window. Now it's three of us. We do the same shit, y'all. The same shit. Go back in there. Knock on the door. Do, 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 do. The nigga open the door. This time, like, what? And I was able to grab a stick. You know how they had the stick, and you lock the door with the poles or something. It wasn't even a uh, matter of fact. Perfect example. This is what I had right here. Pardon the body, y'all. This is what I had. I felt this on the back porch as I was getting my ass whooped. Well, dramatic effect, please. I had been through out the window twice now. I had through out the window twice and come back in. So I kind of then been looking at shit. So I noticed. It's a stick. I think it was leading in the corner or whatever. When we stole on the knee, got in there, I grabbed that bitch. Okay. I'll come in there, clack, clack, clack. Get to the guys. I'm like, okay, man, come on. We, um, I'm able to get niggas good because I'm little. And I, I'm shooting pool, y'all. I'm popping balls. Niggas are falling now. Oh! Oh! That shit is effective. You ever been hitting your dick? Oh, it's not a pretty thing. You know how it's going to go, right? Oh, I'm shooting pool, baby. Oh, oh, oh. Don't tell me what a little motherfucker want to do, boy. I made some noise in that bitch. Oh, oh, oh. I swear to God. Now, look, y'all. I swear to God. I don't know why that baby was 
hollering. <laughs> but they was hollering, man. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. They hollering, though. <laughs> So, I got a shot of the pool. Oh, come on, let's get to the door. Now we all counting together. And I'm little. My boy Dice is a little taller than me. I'm like, I'm like, Kim. He like, I'm like, huh, take this. Take this. Now he got it. I'm like, spin that bitch like that. I'm trying to teach. I'm like, spin it like that, G. You go hit some niggas in the head. So he start twirling that bitch and niggas. We fucking them up now. We still getting hit, but we moving toward the window, and it's five of us now. We we didn't get through out the window this time. We jumped out the bitch, poof, 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 and we gone. God damn it! And uh, <clears throat> as we no no, we hadn't got out yet. No, when we got out this one, when Tim get the stick, he twirling. I almost forgot that part. And I'm telling him twirl it, twirl, twirl it, and he hit me through niggas. And one of the other niggas came through, and Kim ducked and. He cracked that nigga, y'all. Crack across his neck. He cracked that nigga across his neck. A good nigga. Huh, guess what? This the motherfucker governor, y'all. He is the governor for the gangsters. And my man just hit him and he is down. He fucked up. And uh we still fighting him. He said, let him out, folks, let him out. And they like, what? They let him out, let him out, G. So they let us out. We jumps out the window. We running and shit. Here comes some more niggas from the chasers. We stop from the fight in the street. Nigga down on this nigga. Hey, fuck, come back, G. They like, they trying to get on us. They like, hey, come back, G. Fall back. Hey, big fuck down, G. When they heard that, they like, what? So they got to go check on the gov to see. You know what it was. They didn't know how injured he was. He was just hit across his neck. He was alright, but he was fucked up. Cause he he probably ain't been in no fights in a minute. Probably, you know what I mean? He just was in that bitch probably <coughs> talking about it and that shit kicked off. And boy <coughs> talking about proud when we <laughs> we marched back to the neighborhood, y'all. I chest out here for. And look, one of my partners, right? God bless his soul, he's dead deceased. That nigga was damn near in shock. You hear me? He was damn near in shock. And he got real sensitive when we got home. He had his head up. Like, what's wrong? I said, what's wrong, man? I thought y'all was going to leave me. I wasn't going to come back. I said, nigga, when have we ever left you? The nigga stood up, y'all. He had to <laughs> This nigga, I swear to God, don't let no motherfucker tell you a thug don't need a hug. That nigga needed a hug, y'all. You hear me? A real motherfucking hug. I hug him, then dice hug him. Now it's all five of us. This nigga crying now, for real. He really feeling that. <laughs> dice said, Man, don't cry with my motherfucking shirt, man. <laughs> In the thug handbook, man. I don't think crying supposed to be in the thug handbook, <laughs> but, but that, that nigga was crying, y'all. <laughs> so I think gave him a hug for real. Nice. We all hugging him, but we like, okay, we glad we done made it home. <laughs> this nigga cried for real. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to I thought I was going to be in the rubber. Yo, I said, they probably go stop me to death and leave me in this house. Hey right, man, cut it out, man. <laughs> he doing too much now. That's what Dice said. Man, don't cry on my motherfucking shirt, man. Get off, man. You know, so we all break up and sit down and let him gain his composure. But he was thinking like that, for real. Especially when you with five motherfuckers and you see four of them go out the window. Shit. He probably did think it was over with. You know, he probably did think it was over with. But, but with that stick, the last time when we come back to get him, that's when we got busy with the stick. And I had played my little pool. And uh, it's a blessing that we made it out, y'all. Mm -hmm. But my nigga Casey, he would call that, man, boy, we brave, boy. <laughs> we brave, boy. Fuck them. Man. We, we ain't running. We ain't doing none of that. I told you how fucked up we were that day. I'm like, <coughs> we should have ran. 
Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have to think this uh fight shit through, man. I think we got to put running in the in the playbook, man. Yeah. Uh, somebody give me a pad and uh, Let me see. How you spell run, y'all? R U N. Okay. N uh, I N Z. Okay. We got to put running in the playbook, y'all. Because we can't do it every day. Uh, we got to run sometime. Uh, my back. <laughs> this damn fool, y'all. He, he was so proud of just not running, man. And I sort of swear I told him we should have. Because we got our ass whooped. But he was a nigga that fought real good, y'all. And uh, he taught me how to fight good. I mean, I knew how to fight, but I'm talking about he taught me a technique to use when you fight that's real effective. A lot of people don't know this, but I tell it to you. If you find the motherfucker you ever want to fuck him up, hit him in the middle of his motherfucking nose, y'all. I'm talking about right there. It's go fuck him up. It's go discombobulate him. It's what it's gonna do. He ain't gonna be able to see for a minute. His ears go be ringing and his nose is fucked up. I guarantee you, when he get hit in his nose, he go go down and land somewhere because he can't see, and his nose is hurting. He go go down, y'all, and he go. Be like, <sighs> and I know it worked because I used it. Me and KC got caught at the restaurant on 79th and Emerald over there. We goes in there and uh, I think they came in there or we came in there. Either way it go, it's five gangsters. No, it's four. No, it was five. It's five gangsters and two of us. And they tried to send it up, y'all. Because I guess they thought we wasn't about it or they didn't know about us. We whooped all five of them motherfuckers, you hear me? Now put that on the thing. We whooped all five of them motherfuckers. With that move he taught me, I hit the first motherfucker in his nose. He like, Ugh. Every time a nigga get fucked up, he go out the door. The other two, I catch the other one, he swinging all wide. Ugh. He can't take it. And when I turn around thinking I'm finna help my man, he on his third motherfucker. Now I got out on two. He on the third, nigga. He got two down on the floor. They stretched. And he, he trying to get this one because he trying to line, line them up, right? But the nigga now, he like, <laughs> he like, shit, I, I can't get caught with that nose ring. <laughs> he don't want to get caught with it, but he know he got two. He got two gangsters down over here. One out the motherfucking door, two out the door, so he... He trying to, goddamn, I guess he go think he go bring it on home and knock him out. Not the fuck you not. You know, so my man, like, getting ready, he trying to size him up. I mean, I kicked that motherfucker. Listen, I run and jumped in the air and kicked that motherfucker. What the hell? I swear to God, I don't know how I did it. it looked like some shit off the karate show. I ran and jumped up. I told God no karate. Mama told the story about it. I tell you. So I still got the moves. I jumped up and that man had the sound effect. That's exactly what I said. I didn't do all that, but I said <laughs> But look man, that shit was so funny. It was a chick in there on the phone. She said, girl, you never Girl, you never, girl, why two niggas just whoop five motherfuckers? You get a bitch, say stop playing. She said, girl, look, they standing right here. So once we finish the fighting, these niggas down and we look, come on with our food, dog. We got to go. Because if they go and get back up, we got to go. Because them was some boys town gangsters when we was fighting that day. The, what we got through out the window over there, that's killer war. Folks has always had the brothers outnumbered in these areas. But the Moles has always been like the strongest or the underdog. I ain't saying they weak, but for them to have all them numbers they got, they could be making a little bit more noise if you ask me. And I ain't saying I want no trouble. I done been through my stages of years of gang banging. I'm not going to play with you, none of that shit. I'm going to get my guns out. 
And I'm going to call my guy. I said, I got some niggas. All the niggas want to play. I got niggas y'all age that's playing on the field. I'm not going to try to do it with you. And that's another reason I don't play with Chicago stories, y'all. Because I know for a fact how real this street shit is, y'all. These niggas knocking motherfuckers' heads off. They jumping out and standing over niggas, y'all. Come on, man. Just think, y'all. It should be give and take. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you, right? Would you want a nigga to... Let's say you run a nigga, turn the corner, pop! He give you a good three, pop, you fall down. Just ass shot, maybe look back, you go be alright. You hear the car door, but... Why are you getting out? <laughs> Why are you getting out? I bet that probably be the last motherfucking question you go ask. <laughs> You got to tell your people. To, what did he say before he died? Your wife on the block. See, what did he say before he died? He said, why are they getting out? <laughs> <laughs> she, she said, what? Yeah, he, he wanted to know why the guys was getting out. He said, he figured he shot already. They got out to finish him. Finish him. And you know, you can't blame them because the city always was built off retaliation, y'all. So whatever move the ops make, you got to match it, right? How you go match a move when everybody did? So only way you can match that move if you got to kill somebody. You feel me? I'm going to plant you not dig you later, man. Y'all hit that like button, man. Hit that subscribe, man. You know, hit that subscribe for me. Let me put this thing here back up. Y'all, man, I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all, y'all that be doing whatever you do. Bite my nose off right there. Whatever you do, man, I appreciate it, man. Subscribe, you know, share. Put something in that cash out for the general, man. Hey, man, I tell you, I got these shirts on sale. I left these, uh, I left the instructions in the comments, y'all. That's the G-Shrimp merchandise. Now, I bought this one. When y'all, uh, want a shirt, y'all hit me. Leave me a message. You're going to have to pay for the shirt. Because the shirt, uh, they go make it when you order it. So when you pay for the shirt, they go make your order and send it right to you. They ain't just got a hundred shirts laying around. So your shit going to be fresh off the press. So you don't have to worry about that. It's going to be brand spanking new, fresh. It ain't going to be in nobody's basement. It ain't going to be this one. Your shit going to be coming fresh from the place where they make the shirts at. You feel me? Y'all been asking about the merch? There it is, man. I'm gonna get some hats too, y'all. I'm gonna get the G-Shrimp hats. Uh, I, start, I might get the hoodies, I don't know. Depend on how this go. You know, because uh, I have to pay for this shit, y'all. So, that's all it is, man. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe, y'all. We almost there, man. I'm trying to get up to 10K, y'all. So all the people that y'all actually say y'all G-Shrimp fans, for real, when you are at your house or your co-workers and shit, just ask them to see the phone. Say, let me show you somebody I'll be listening to and just put it in there, subscribe, and give them his phone back. That's all. Do everybody like that. And trust me, tell them once they tune in, they might like it. They might like it, man. You know, motherfucker, go talk that shit, right? <laughs> tell them, go talk that shit, man. Hey, man, you better stop playing with the general, man. You heard me? I'm out of here.